Hello, in the today's days, we pay everything with the new time, with the new money and with the new energy. Here is my math problem, I started writing a book, best 100 talks from my channel, I calculated I need 200 hours, the thing is, with these 200 hours I can write 50 new articles. The effort is not the same, the time is equal 200 hours, but the multiplication rule is not the same, it is 50 times x new videos, drawings and articles. I choose to give up writing the book for a time, and write more visionary talks. In this case, the time to create is more important than the hope of making some money selling the book. Welcome to a new visionary talk from Emil Truthman, either we learn, either we pay. In the rush hours of our daily living, many times we have to pay the asked price, or when the things are overvalued, we do ourselves the work, and pay with our time and maybe some effort. The better we understand the connection between time, money and energy, and the more we have of them, some have more money, some have more time, other have power or knowledge. We can skip the basic lessons every stupid human begin with, and we can avoid the mistakes that the majority is always paying, and we move to upper level of leading to success, making the difference and multiplying faster the results we want to achieve. Let me explain more simple, if you know the value of your working time, if you know the margins of your money, how much money you think a product or service costs, based on your information and experience. And if you know your capacity of physical work, resistance to stress, or the level of motivation you have, or how smart you are, if you know these three things about time, money, and effort, you can decide more easily when to pay the money when to choose time, or when to get involved or to stay still. The successful people of the future have these three rules in their daily routine, number one is, if it's something you can leverage with money, you pay and move to next task. Meaning if you pay the price, you solve the problem without the need of your time or energy, if the price is right, use this, something, to maximum advantage. The second rule is the cost of time, if you are so important for the other person and your presence is required, you should be there, and if for you, spending time with a person, family, kids, a group, time is priceless, you should give up everything, and be there in that specific moment. In other cases, the lessons you learn by using your time and effort, knowledge, involvement, being present and active you should pay it with your energy or effort. We must every day juggle, meaning to throw and catch, two or more objects, in our case the new money, new time, and new energy, so that at least one of them is in the air at all times and we make success with each correct decision taken. The three problems that can occur are losing money too fast, or spending them when we could use time or effort. This type of attitude can lead to poverty, arrogance, and stupidity, because money are important where money have value. You cannot participate at a running contest and use money to buy first place, effort is required to win the game. We use money to solve money problems. The second problem is not having enough time for the meaningful things for us, we work too much time, and we are paid so little. In this case is better to find a new job where we gain more money, working less hours, this is the ideal case of study. Or if we are paid very good, we can work half time for half money, and use the other half of time for other things we want. This is basic math. Or we can work too much, even until burnout or physical exhaustion or mental exhaustion, with what costs. Cost of health, cost of time working for little money. Very few people when they encounter a problem-solving task, take a pause and think at these three aspects, what is the best technique to approach success, or solving the task, using money, time or knowledge, maybe other people's knowledge. You have in the description of this talk two links from my other episodes. Also we can apply the 80-20 Pareto rule. If I give up the 80% of the time worked, 
and lose the 20% of the results, I remain working 20% of time for 80% of results. The rest of 20% of results I will buy with money, or do some effort to compensate. Ask yourself, what is my vision of result? What is important? Why I do, the things I do? Should I use more money, time, or learn more? Today I worked too much, 10 hours in total, with effort and stress and for a few bucks, this is my rat race I wanna escape social poverty, and upgrade my status level. The way you manage 24 hours time, the money you have and the energy, motivation, and effort, are the keys to how fast will you achieve your dream. Being different is the only option you have to be yourself, and to be observed in a majority of same people. Always think twice before saying, I will be there, I will do it myself or buy it now. Emil Truthman salutes you.